Hi, welcome to the show today. I'm Anisha Pindore and I'm a senior program manager in the community team in Azure DevOps. And today I'm joined with Mitch. Mitch, do you want to quickly introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, uh, I'm Mitch Denny. I am also a senior program manager in the Azure DevOps team. Great. Well, it's lovely to have you in the studio, Mitch. Um, so in this video, we'll be covering, um, highlighting some of the new features released in Sprint 143. Uh, um, some of those being the new draft pull request in Azure repos, and a couple of um, things around Azure artifacts as well, which, which, which Mitch will be covering. Um, so in Azure repos, uh, you can now create draft pull requests. Uh, draft pull requests helps um, prevent pull requests from being completed um, before they are ready. And it also helps create work in progress um, uh, which you might not want everyone to be involved in. So let me just quickly walk through how that looks. So if I go to my Fabricam Fiber Web and then just go over to pull requests in Azure repos, you can now just, uh, well, it's, it was there already, but uh, go to new pull request. And then if you scroll down to the create button, you'll now see there's actually a drop down there. And if I go to that, you'll be able to create this pull request as a draft. And that's it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, so, Mitch, do you want to um, cover some of the um, new stuff in Azure Artifacts and walk us through some of that? Sure. Uh, so, the thing that I wanted to share with everyone today was a new feature called Artifact Ignore. Think of Artifact Ignore as the uh, a parallel to the Git Ignore file that you have in your version control repository. But instead of ignoring files that you want to check into source control, it actually allows you to ignore files that you want to upload to Azure Artifacts. And it's used with both our universal packages packages type, and it can also be used within Azure pipelines for the pipeline artifacts package uh, or artifact type that we support publishing. So the way it works is that if I have a, a, a project open here, uh, and I'm just going to work locally here, but this will work in your uh, uh, continuous integration pipelines as well. You can see here that I have a file named artifact ignore. And inside that file, I have these rules, which are exactly the same as the git ignore rules that you would have in your version control repository. And in this case, I only want to upload a subset of the files inside my uh, directory, which I'm going to be publishing to universal packages. So first, I'm going to say I want to ignore everything. And then I'm going to explicitly unignore the DLL files in a particular directory. Okay. And so the way that works is that if I, I've built this code, uh, and I may have done this in my CI pipeline, I go into the command line and I use the, uh, the universal package publish command to publish the mycli package uh, and I'm going to call it version 1.03. And because of the path that I'm publishing from, it automatically detects the artifact ignore file. And when I publish, it's going to just detect that single file that I want to upload mm. and we're done. So now when I go and download that file, I'll take a few moments and I look in this directory. It has included the entire path, but it's only picked up the specific file that I asked it to publish. Cool. And just a reminder, that works with both universal packages and pipeline artifacts. It's exactly the same mechanism. Great, great. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, so we've just touched um, just some of the um, things in Sprint 143. Um, so if you, I, I definitely go um, and recommend checking out this uh, Sprint release notes. You'll see the link in the description as well. Um, so thanks again, Mitch, uh, for being in the studio. Thanks, and thanks again, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you in the next Sprint. Take care.